What's up, YouTube? It's that time again. Talking Wrestling TV in with the Monday Night Raw review, guys. Night after stomping grounds. And for the second week in a row, Monday Night Raw put on a decent show, in my view. We open up Monday Night Raw tonight with the Universal Champion, Seth Rollins, coming out, being interrupted by his girlfriend, Becky Lynch, before they both was interrupted by Barry Corbin and Lacey Evans. All just to set up a mixed tag team match, want to take all at Extreme Rules. Now guys, I'll be glad when this rival between Becky Lynch and Lacey Evans, Seth Rollins, and Barry Corbin is over. It's a pointless rival just to get Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch, I guess, over with their relationship. I don't know what the hell WWE is doing with this. But I just hope after stream rules, this is the end of this rival. The first matchup we had tonight on Monday Night Raw was an eight-man elimination tag team match with the Usos and the New Day against the Revival and Dan Bryan, Eric Rowan. The Usos got the win tonight, and I don't know why WWE is booking both of their tag team champions to lose a meaningless match and guys they did Usos and Revival we're probably going to get again and I'm sick of seeing that as well guys but one thing I will say I'm glad WWE is finally putting in the effort and the time into the tag team division it seems like they're picking it up and I think they're doing a pretty good job at trying to pick it up guys also tonight we had Miz TV with R-Truth and Carmella. All to book a match between R2 and Drew Gulak, whatever the hell his name is, in a match for the fucking 24-7 title, guys. And at this point, we might as well rename Miz TV to Shit TV, guys, because that's exactly what it is. Pure D shit. Also, we had Drew McIntyre and Shane McMahon in a two-on-one handicap match against Roman Reigns. And they beat Roman Reigns down, guys. And as Shane McMahon was going for coast to coast on the top rope, we had an appearance by The Undertaker, guys. And in my view, I don't like this at all, guys. An impromptu tag team match that we getting at Extreme Rules with The Undertaker and Roman Reigns against Shane and Drew McIntyre they still do it for Roman Reigns, guys. The Undertaker don't have any part of this rival. Don't even need to be a part of this rival, guys. In my view, he's doing this because of the debacle of a match him and Goldberg had at Super Shit Down. Where's Goldberg moment to fix what happened? You do it for The Undertaker, you might as well do it for Goldberg as well, guys. The next match tonight on Monday Night Raw was a damn tug of crap match, guys. A tug of war with Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman. And guys, who gave a damn about this moment? I didn't, and I know you didn't either. We had the War Raiders versus Gallows and Anderson, and we all know the War Raiders squashed them as well. Then we had R-Truth losing the 24-7 title. I don't know how many times tonight, but he regained it by pinning EC3, guys. And tonight, EC3 won his first WWE title and lost it in less than a minute, guys. Damn shame what WWE is doing or have already done to EC3. I told you on this channel once, I'm gonna tell you again, EC3 might as well be ECD, guys, and that's EC done because he's done, guys. Kofi Kingston versus Sam Zayn, guys. That's right. Sam Zayn and Kofi Kingston. Nice little matchup. Kofi Kingston ended up beating him. And then Kevin Owens challenged him for a match. And Kofi Kingston beat him too by count out. Only to be brutally attacked by Samoa Joe after the match. Now, I don't know what this is going to do for Kofi Kingston and Samoa Joe in a feud for the WWE title 
with some more Joe being on Raw, Kofi on SmackDown. But if it's going to be a Raw with those two, I'm all for it, guys. We had Alexa Bliss pretty much squashing Naomi and Natalya in one night as well, guys. Main event, AJ Styles, Ricochet. Pretty good match. Pretty good main event match in my view, guys. And the right man won this match. AJ Styles defeated Ricochet. I'm pretty sure they're going to fight again. And probably Ricochet will get the win next time they fight, guys. But I was glad to see AJ Styles make his return to the ring tonight on Raw in a pretty decent TV match against the new U.S. champion, guys. Pretty good show tonight, in my view. Um, I'm glad to see WWE is trying to fix the product, guys. Let's just hope WWE keep all this momentum and keep it rolling going into SummerSlam. It's Talking Wrestling TV coming in giving my quick thought on this Monday Night Raw. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.